everyone, welcome back. Let's have a look at 7C. It is on page 77 for you. Uh, it's called Honesty Pace and it will be mostly based on listening exercises. So I will include them in uh, your Google Classroom task. You can download them there. Now, uh, when you look at the first exercise, it's about speaking, but of course we cannot really check it here. Have you ever found any money that was not yours and what did you do with it? I want you to write the answer here, all right? So you would say, no, I haven't, or yes, I have. Uh, and then if you have never done this, then describe what would you do with this, all right? So you can write the second conditional already. So that would mean, pokud bych našel nějaké peníze, potom, co bych s tím dělal, okay? Now, the title of this lesson is Honesty Pace. I'm sure that the word honesty is already clear to you. Honesty je teda poctivost, okay, that's the idea. Or it can also be upřímnost, that depends on how you want to look at it. Now, in the second exercise, I will leave this listening for you on a Google Classroom, and I want you to listen to the story. The story will talk about this guy here, Glenn James, and I want, to, I want you to answer this. What did he do? What exactly did he do, right? It will be about money, probably. So here is some listening strategy, something that you can read before you listen. This will help you with uh, understanding. And over here, number three, read the listening strategy in the summary below. What kind of information do you need for each answer? So then, when you listen, guys, complete also this exercise right here, right? They will probably need some either, uh, either a noun or a verb or maybe some adjective, right? You need to see that in the sentence. What kind of uh, part of speech do they want from you here? Then, when you're done with this, then what would you do if you found a bag with $42,000 in it? So uh, just write a sentence here in second conditional again. Then here we have, check the words, uh, meanings here below. I will leave that to you, gentlemen. I don't want to really translate it here for you because this is your this is your job right now all right now don't forget to find the four pairs here that are the opposite okay so uh, they mean the opposite uh, idea let me give you one example here you can lose money or you can win money right winning is not here but uh, winning and losing are the opposites you can sell you can buy and so on now you're going to hear five speakers Read the questions below and predict the kind of information you need to answer each one. So before you listen, guys, all right, you read the questions here and think about what kind of answer you are listening to. What kind of information do you need to hear to really answer the question? And then when you are ready, all right, when you are ready, then you will play this, ex play this listening for yourself and answer the questions here. Were your predictions correct? So did the answers that you were thinking of, were they correct? And over here in nine, uh, match the speakers one to five with the sentences A to F. One will be missing here, right? One uh, will be extra, so don't forget. And then complete 10, right? Complete the questions with the correct form of the verbs from exercise six. Exercise six is right here. So they want you to use these verbs over here. And don't forget to use them in the correct uh, in the correct tense. They already include the first uh, letter here, so this can really help you a lot. All right, and that's it, guys. That's for seven C. All right, the following task will be about seven C, but in workbook. This is something that I th think you don't need much help with because uh, it is self-explanatory. Let me show you here in seven C. All right. I don't think that you will really need uh, my help here. I will send you the listening exercises here and you will have to try it on your own. Okay, but this will be the following task. Yeah. Now you don't have to worry about it. Now you need to worry about the student's book 7C. Thank you so much for listening guys and I wish you good luck.